everybody, this is Louisa with LA Paper Studio and today I actually have a not very much of a paper project but still a project that um, I know has gathered a lot of questions out there and I kind of wanted to um, give a little update on what I've been doing with my wood projects. So I put a video out there on how you can do wood burning with your silhouette. At the time I did not own a printer that was a straight feed printer meaning you put the page and it comes down so you can put different mediums as long as it goes through the rollers um, instead of being one of the ones that are more cumbersome since I do have that printer and I've been working more with wax paper it's a lot easier to use it's very inexpensive I just take it from the, my kitchen put whatever I want on my screen not to mention that it's a lot easier to use because you don't have any of the threading. Um, I think I'm, actually I think I'm using the incorrect term. Um, you don't have to do any of the weeding for the vinyl. Um, and then you don't have to do pick up any of the small little pieces. So something like this, there would be the P for example, the little, uh, this little fat part of the P will, would be a piece you need to pick up, these circles here. Um, and these smaller parts of the spatula would be something to pick up. So I still use my Silhouette Studio just because I like that as a design software. And I own a lot of SVGs that I've purchased through the Silhouette Store. This is a gift I'm particularly working on here. It's a wood cutting board. I just got this at Michael's for, I don't even remember how much. You can get the larger boards. It's not um, bamboo wood which is normally my wood cutting boards when I give them to people I'll get uh, a bamboo board from um, Walmart or Target or wherever that's actually a cutting board those are a little bit more durable um, I've been trying these out um, they're more they're more meant to be cheese platters than cutting boards but you can still obviously use your knife it's just gonna be it's softer wood let me see if it says the actual type of wood. It's walnut hollow wood, so it's definitely a lot softer. So you want to be careful because you you definitely, after a lot of wear and tear, you're going to wear through it. Um, but I still like it as a gift just because of the shape. I think it's a lot cuter than just a, a rectangular board. Um, also, it's probably a little bit more cost effective. And I love this color. So what I did here is that I took my Silhouette Studio. I purchased this design a long time ago and I've used it a lot of time since. I um, put my name in the middle um, using Castellar, uh, Castellar, however you want to pronounce it, as a font. I really like that as a font. It's clean and cut and classy looking. And then I flipped it all, including the text, and printed it so it prints. It looks like that. It looks backwards. And then when you print it, you take your backwards looking piece and you just absolutely, you just completely put it and I'm gonna see if I have a spare piece of white paper. And I do. And you completely just, this is something I was using for foiling. You just put it on your wood as such. The wax paper has something with this particular wood, actually with other kinds of wood too, where it just kind of gets stuck to the wood which makes it easier and then I just grab a bone folder this is my Martha Stewart it's pretty flat so I like it because then it just transfers my ink onto my wood as you can see there is still some a little bit of ink left probably some there too so I just transfer that onto my wood and this is the result that you come up with now the drawback on doing this versus using um, this the stencil vinyl stencil is that with the vinyl stencil you have to absolutely use a sharpie so you already know that it's going to be a little bit more durable because this is dye ink um, it's a dye ink printer this is going to with just a little bit of water or maybe even alcohol it'll become clear so what I do is that I go in with my sharpie just because I really like that deep black color and also because Sharpies are a little bit more durable than wood. Now Sharpies will wash off from wood. I did some testing with this and I actually gave a friend of mine 
a piece of wood that I had just used a sharpie on I hadn't used anything else on and I hadn't sealed it or used any acrylics or anything any minerals I hadn't changed anything but the sh I just used a sharpie on it it stayed on for quite a bit but then I used another uh, friend of mine as a test sample and my poor friends probably have all these pieces of wood that are meant to be engraved and they're wearing off and when you use the sharpie first and then you take your wood burning pen and wood burn and actually wood burn it the effect is so much more permanent and bold and um, beautiful it looks burnt um, it just absolutely finishes it off so that's currently my preferred method for wood burning as you see I'm kind of freelancing here a little bit uh, which I should not be doing because I'm not an artist where I'm gonna get into a dicey spot is um, on the thinner pieces because I don't have a thin sharpie thin tip sharpie so you may want to get one if you're planning on doing this okay so I've completed the I finished wood burning the whole design I wanted to make um, to mention that when I'm uh, doing any of these projects, and this is a cool tip, I have this little board of wood that I don't really care if it gets damaged or not, so that when I'm removing my tips, um, which I actually use my cinch uh, tweezers, when I remove them, they're going to be really, really hot, and I don't want to burn anything on my surface, and I don't want to burn. Um, myself and so the, the safest bet I have found so far if I don't move them so much and keep falling around is um, to use in a small little wood block and you can get something like that at Michael's for 99 cents um, the other thing that I was going to mention is that this is the three primary tips I use I don't actually use um, the main tip that it comes with um, I feel like it gives the strokes are too deep and it looks more like you're cutting than you are drawing with it and my new favorite tip is this flow tip for these areas where you can't we you shouldn't be using shading which is this tip here that's a little larger when you have a smaller area like this one you want to use but it's definitely larger than larger than something delicate like these lines then you want to use the metal one um, which actually turned out really great I loved how it looked and it was very very deep um, just another comparison I only did this half with a sharpie that I went over with a sharpie this half I did not and as you can tell the boldness is actually not all that deep I think it's more noticeable on the utensils that have a lot of black but everything else could do without um, the sharpie and in fact these thinner lines came out much better because I didn't go over them with a sharpie so I didn't have to go over them multiple times with my wood burning tool so I hope you enjoy this. This is uh, just a really quick and simple wood burning for non-wood burning people. Paper crafting is your tool or your main craft I should say and you want to also get into personalizing more things such as wood. I highly highly recommend you can get a wood burning pen for about seven or eight dollars um, with a 40 percent off coupon at michael's or hobby lobby and they bring all these tips already so for about seven dollars you can expand your paper crafting to include more gifts which come in really handy and it's actually highly therapeutic um, i'm not a drawer myself so i love being able to print something off my computer put it on wood and then being able to burn it on so I hope you enjoy this and I hope this inspired you. Thanks for watching.